Okay, so there is uh, two things for you. Uh, number one is the beauty, the look, and number two is using body weight to move. So let's talk about beauty first. The beauty, let's say, when you start uh, beginning. So beauty most of the time will be related to your legs position and beautiful posture. That's it. That's already will create a strong beauty. So when you do beginning, make sure your inner thighs are really closing and very much brushing with each other for the beginning, the preparation. So we don't look too casual. Okay. So for the beauty, so we work on the beauty. So the tightness of the inner thighs. Yeah, so let's do for the uh, four count. One, two, three, four, ah, five. So what is the beauty of this position? So stay there, Tali. Yeah, so of course it's your body position, beautiful posture. Yes, and that leg. More pointed this line, more beautiful position it is. Very good. So next one, for the beauty, we have a one, two. So again, it's all about this beautiful leg position. Yeah, and slight turnout will be recommended. So it's not really here. Yeah, so slightly turn, not really this way, because more you're gonna turn out, more this hip gonna drop. But if you wanna lift hip a little bit, turn out. So beautiful leg. Three, four, four with a high hip. So that beautiful line pointed foot is gonna be really recommended. Now from here, the beauty of the twist is again in the feet. Boom, so it's the degree of turnout of that free leg. That's what will be considered beautiful. Walk, 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 and here. Now here, what is the beauty? Is the tightness between your inner thighs and how much you can point and present that beautiful leg. Yes, understand? It's very, very simple. Now here, kick. Boom, here, the beauty of the kick. Again, the pointness of that leg. The pointed leg, not just throwing and shake it like a sausage. Tap. Again, so tap, you see that beautiful toe. Kick, tap, now next one. Left, left, yes, yeah, so it's pretty here. Very tight here, right. Now, whatever you kick, you wanna have that feeling like your inner thighs together here. You would never wanna open them. So very ladylike kicks are strongly recommended. Left, right, tap, and this one is a little bit bigger, kick. Now kick, but now for the beauty here now, if you have a high hip, you will have more beautiful leg. Yes, if your one leg soft is also is not a big, big problem as well. So high hip here, step and point. Now here, the beauty of this position, of course, is the ankle and the leg position. How big is the ankle? Uh, yeah, how much you turn out here? How much there is a distance between the heel and the floor? for the beautiful presentation. And switch, the same on the other leg. Boom, 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 boom. So that's, we're not talking about the movement, we're only talking about make it look pretty. Like a thousand beautiful pictures stuck together, create a beautiful movie. Get it? Next one, exit, out of it. In, so on that in position, what is beautiful? In is the tightness of your feet, the accurateness of the, legs and feet position out in and then bigger yes and the last one in bigger out beautiful now here this recovery was a little bit not uh pretty enough so when you recover try to recover more more on this side like this yeah with your shoulders here and then you can walk out of it for the last one for the last one right in out and very good you see it's more ladylike and then you get into that position. And here it's very similar to the like, almost like a side rumble walk there with the beautiful toe and high picked up position, no hips, no hip, uh, no settling. Very good. Next one, we have a little bit wave. Now next one, are you doing kickball change or just taps? So if you're doing taps, so it's very beautiful. Tap and drop, tap and drop. So the tightness, of the inner thighs and position of the feet. Now, next one, the last one. Kick, we already mentioned. So here, how to have an elegant kicks? You just keep in inner thighs towards each other. So when you kick, it's kind of feeling like it's lifted and pulled together. 
tick, 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 like, like you know, super, super ladylike. So it's, the beauty is extremely important. Kick, 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 hey, hey, triple step with the high hip, triple step, and then you have, and there. Now, what is the beauty about this position? Yes, it's how much you can turn out this ankle and work this way, right, through rotation of your inner thighs. Yes, and archingness of the whole body. Now, uh, do the next movement. Blame, do, 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 do. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Understand? Look. So all of this is extremely, extremely important. Now do rock step one and stop one. So when you do rock step, first of all, it's uh, always for the rock step, go behind the corner. Don't go directly back. Go behind the corner. Like this is the building. This is the corner. You go behind the corner and the corner. Well, there. Right, so then you can showcase that beautiful 90 degree line. Yes, rather than just going back, okay? Yeah, and rock, step, very good. On the step, that beautiful leg, forward, very good. Now next one, go triple step, triple step, triple step. What is the beauty of triple step? It's very simple. If positioning your foot on the inside edge of the toe with the knees, curve towards each other triple step but you're going to be going from this direction one two ah uh, triple step ah uh, tightness here triple step so it looks pretty and elegant one more time so you're going and rock step one two triple elegant and and to me triple step now the same rock step go behind the corner one show this position Two, ah, uh, triple step, triple step. Now go tap, 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 tap. Now kick, yeah, and make sure it's a little bit turned out. Kick, ball change, kick, ball change. Last one, kick, step, and sit with a beautiful seat. Very good. Next one, point and point. You can work a little bit harder. And I go from the rainbow and point for point point and step now that back foot push from that foot that back line is very pretty go run 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 boom and three pulse step point one uh two uh one uh two uh one uh two three pulse step triple step so the how accurate you position your feet will decide how beautiful you look yes yes mm -hmm. next one one rock step two, triple step, ah, uh, triple step. And I go rock, step, finishing position in here, yeah. Maybe not. Yeah, shoulders a little bit, like, yeah, shoulders. So you're here, and show, yeah, a, li a little bit this way, right. So it's more beautiful, more angles, and maybe heel up. Try heel up, right. And now put your heel down as you Presenting that heel here, right. Flip to the side and close. Very good. Let's try with the music, just focusing on the beauty aspect. Easy peasy, simple easy.
blue ball. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very good. So I want you at this point of your dancing to look at your choreographies, which you more or less know as the three points, three levels uh, in order of importance. So number one, we have to make it look beautiful. So beautiful, mainly beautiful, it's legs and feet. If legs and feet looks beautiful, you look beautiful. Then it's a posture and then there's a little bit style, but basically legs and feet is the key. Uh, number two is what you're going to try right now. It's use your body weight to move. Because even though you make leg pretty, you're not, you don't want to move. You don't want to dance with the leg. You want to dance with the body weight. I'll show you how to do it. And number three, it's a, a performance where it has to be created some sort of atmosphere, fun, and mood. So more attitude. So, so not just a beautiful step with the body weight movement that will be very technical very good but not going to be the best got it so the last level it's just to create attitude but having those previous elements in it because if it's just attitude it's uh, no good okay so we have a pointers most we, number one we have to look beautiful number two it's using body weight to dance so we're not using the legs to move because it's going to be incredibly not easy to move without body weight and then attitude to creating a personality. So people think we're just having a great time and technique just like inside. That will be the magic. For your level, that will be a great way to look at things. Got it? And always, let's say, if I mention to you, you have to put whatever I tell you into these categories. Let's say if I tell you, uh, okay, squeeze to move. So it's more about using body weight. If I tell you, uh, close your inner thighs. It's more about to look beautiful. If I tell, okay, give some personality, give some, you know, energy. It's more about performance. And understand? So everything should fall for you right now. So, so next one, using body weight to move. So what does it mean? So for example, let's say we, uh, when we stay in connection, but it's not only in connection. So instead of just making that beautiful step with the correct, you know, way you place your feet, we're going to use a little bit of body weight to each other and away from each other. Like, for example, you're winking the body and then actually on the way out, have the body, like the body go, then, then leg. And here, for example, instead of going just step point, beautiful leg, we can actually activate our body and let our body weight to drift us, the drifting of the spine, drifting of the body weight. And the same here, you know, we can use body weight to move. Boom, 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 swing. You see, more you swing body weight, these legs, they start moving different, differently. Off center. Off center, yeah, you constantly play with that. And it will be very handy when you'll be here. And instead of just doing just pretty, you're going to play with your weight, sending it back, boom. Mm -hmm. Standing in front. Got it? So we can create more fun steps together using body, using body weight. What is the easiest way to feel body weight? Is when you just walk on the street, walk on the street, and then I say move faster. You basically, you increase your weight, yes, to move. But we not only use it for the speed, which we do, we also use it for the volume. So for example, here, we don't care about speed but we want to have some volume in the movement. We don't want to just, you know, doing pretty legs. That's the key. Okay, so let's go through routine slowly, focusing mainly on the body weight. Swinging the weight here. Just imagine your body weight is inside your hip. It's your whole spine. Yeah, Shivya, later I'll give you more detail. Boom, 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 boom. Now, for example, here, as we're going forward, there is, will be a sense of drifting, drifting, that side, that side, boom, 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 boom. How much is depends, you know, what's your partner doing, how we, but there is a drift. So it's not even, we're not really, you know, stationary, not going anywhere. We're constantly drifting. We either rocking, rocking, or we drifting, drifting, drifting. If we're in place, we're rocking, but we don't want to keep your weight still, boom. 
Yeah. So, but that's already too much. This already you will use like this for paso doble, by the way. This will be because you know how you have in paso doble, boom, 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 boom. So you're using your body weight for the space. Again, you you have to play how much, how little, but it's what I'll tell you is there. But it's definitely it's not just you know only pretty legs because there is a body swings or body rockings and body uh, drifts, okay? You will, if, if I hold your arm here, you will feel how I move, and you just can copy that. Goong, 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 Also, the good analogy, it's like, imagine I tell you, push me forward. And you can push like this with the arms, or you can somehow engage all your body and start pushing me with the whole body. Like, you know, so that, so you wanna do it with the whole body. Like, like push me, like engaging your body, not your arms. So in a way, your arms should be quite relaxed. Got it? So you kind of, you see, let's say you, I'm pushing you with my body weight and you resist with your body weight, not with your arms. Or if I'm pushing you with the arms, it's become more like, yeah. so it's using the body weight behind everything we do. Uh, you got it? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> tick, 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 tick. Now here, a little bit, one, two, one, two, uh, one, uh, two, uh, one, uh, two. Warm, warm, and definitely, yeah. So I do those kicks, I will add a little bit body weight to it. Goon, go, 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 okay? So, and this magic buttons is actually a result of moving your weight, using your weight, because you not want to only have a leg, you have a sense of warm, warm, the body, Woom, good doom. Woom, good doom. Woom, good doom. Whoa. Yeah. Woom, good. Do this. Woom, good doom. Magic bot. Woom, good doom. Because, you know, people, I teach magic bot and it still doesn't work for people. Why? Because they're not moving weight. They're doing, oh, magic button. No. Magic button is a part of that drifting out of your body. That, so the ma magic button has that shift in the way. Woom, gada. Woom, gada, woom, gada, woom, gada, woom, ga gada. A little bit no hole. Right. Gada. How can you play? You know, it's up to you. You're going to play. It's like the same if I will use my body weight and, you know, start going off center. Woom. You see? So you you just play with that. I'll show with Christina, but she doesn't have a shoes. But like, and then, like, you start playing with that little by little. Andy, and go woom, gada, woom, gada, woom, 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 and da, woom, and da, go, go, go. So shift your weight a little bit. Do, 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 yes. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. Go, 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 do, 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 a, li a little bit, again. It's like, tick, tick, kutuk, tick, kutuk, tick, kutuk, 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 woom. You see, even here, there is a sense of weight out. In, uh, you see, I'm shifting my whole spine to you. I'm not just like, you see, mm -hmm. I'm kind of boom, 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 using the weight in, out, in, out, boom, boom, and, 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 and yes, and when you go out, do that re reverse ripple, or oh, maybe do reverse ripple, out, and then maybe, oh, I like that. See, and you see, when you move, whoom, you move your weight, whoom, whoom, you're not moving your legs. Yeah? Out. Tick. Whoa. Boom, boom, boom. And go. Tung, ku, tung, tung, ku, tung. Kick. Whoom. Whoom, 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 boom, boom, boom. And here, you see, we, we drop. There is a two techniques for the jive. One is a lifting technique, like when we lift over the leg. Triple lift. Another technique is dropping. Here, what we're dropping? And weight. Dropping the weight. Boom, boom. This is a little bit harder. Could go. So you're dropping the weight and your knee is catching you. Whoa. Three pulse. Up, down, down. Up, down, down. Up. Down, down. Dropping a little bit, in my opinion, not pretty for the legs. But I use it a lot. 
But again, what are you dropping? You're dropping your weight. You're not bending. You see, difference between bending the knees or dropping the weight. Boom. 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 Yes. So that's kind of feel. Uh, okay, what's next? Where are we at? Da 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 da. Yeah. So for example, here, use your weight. And also using spine drift, body weight for connection is, is the key. And this is a little bit what I don't feel with you. Watch what should feel. You drift to walk, walk, you see? Triple and step. Triple and step. Walk, walk. Tiga da da. Tiga da da. Woom, gada. Woom, gada. Woom, gada. Woom, woom. Ga stay. Gara. Can you feel my body weight? My bum weight? Woom. Go, 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 go. Woo. So this is using weight. Do you see? It? I mean, it's not easy to explain, but you can see the. It's kind of has this internal power. Can you feel it, right? Because I was not like forcing, but it was felt powerful. And uh, how I teach uh, body weight is basically rocking your body. You can rock back and front, which is the hardest. Just hardest. Or you can rock side to side. Boom, 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 boom. And you can combine that rocking. Boom. Yes, very good. So try to use your body weight from here. Place change. Wait. So the hooking will be not important for you because you want to drift you. Boom, drift your spine. Diga da da. Ah, to me, to me. Diga da da. Excellent. Boom, boom, and boom. Boom. Boom, gada, boom, gada, e, da, da, 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 with the weight, e, and uh, very good, e, da, da, here, towards this wall, e, da, da, kickball change, let me go, and e, da, da, e, da, da, e, da, da, e, da, da, ah, boom. Yeah, like, let me feel your booty weight. Like, you have a tail, I feel the tail. And now, when you start pointing, you're gonna slightly start pushing that forward. Boom, 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 boom. And now fly your weight. Go, 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 go. Yeah, that was good. And what you need to do is really good. You did something which is very good, naturally. As you fly your weight forward, send this elbow behind towards your back pocket. Something like this. And being in this position is good. Wow. See? And then you can turn there. It's like really twist. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit twist. Try that. And go. One, two, three. Pa, 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 pa. Whoa. Behind. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. A hold. And hold. Guju, 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 gaju. Da, 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 da. Beautiful. Now here, back to me. And a one, two, triple, triple. And one, drift your weight. Yeah, beautiful. Ta ta, ta ta. Okay, so now you have a beautiful beauty aspect of beauty, beautiful legs. We have a little bit using body weight, body weight, body weight, as we move, and then now we have to uh, create an attitude and playfulness within that. So what does it mean? So when you Work on playfulness. I mean, you don't need to work on playful. You just have to create the different moods. Like this is ta 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 mood. Hara. This is more teasing. This is more showing off. Boom. Like if you dance and you're showing off your body parts, that will be good for you. You see, like I'm here, I'm showing off hips. Boom. Here, I'm showing off my chest. Here, I'm like, hey, hey. Here, I'm showing off my booty. Like something. Something more than just beautiful and body weight. And showing off a little bit here, showing off skirt here, showing off chair, like whatever comes to your mind. And I just improvise, have fun with that. And then we do it last time. And then let's do a little bit faster.
Ooh, maybe body wave. Yeah. Let's do body wave there. Let's not do this. Let's do uh, reverse roll. In, out, in, out, in, out. Whoa. Hop, hop, teasing. Excellent. 